everyone, welcome to some my Pittsburgh United career mode for FIFA 22. And we are going to begin with this game here, this uh, Lamar Hunt US Open Cup game against the LA Galaxy. And we are going to be focusing on the month of April here, as we, like I just said, we are going to focus on this Cup game. And then we're going to be playing this game against Colorado, and we're also going to be playing this home game against our Earth rivals Philadelphia. But, um... But anyway, hope you guys are having an awesome day today. But before we get into this game, I do want to show you the transfers that I made. Which I am going to show you my uh, starting 11, which I didn't realize Wes McKenney is now at an 85. He is our highest rated player on the team. Anthony Robinson, 83. Uh, Jacob Jones at a 74. And you probably noticed that I have an O Compo and an O Compos. As you can see, uh... The left winger, Lucas Acampos, I ended up getting uh, as my new winger to complete my objective to sign a crucial player in the forward position. And I also got a new starting center mid in Carlos Rodriguez. And I also got some bench players as well, which I'm going to show you guys here. Bunch of players going out on loan, as you'll see here. Two players going out to LAFC. I ended up selling my... Uh, Former starting left winger, uh, Joshua Durant, uh, to Club Bruce for 14.7. Brandon Bell, one of my youth prospects, is going to, going to Seattle. I end up getting Matthew Hopper. He plays, I, I believe he plays for uh, my work in real life, but on here for whatever reason, he's, he, I got him from Schalke for 3.5 million. He will be my, my backup striker behind Jacob Jones. And I got Arce here, a free agent, right back, uh, on a free, it's a, with the Luis Rubio, the Colombian CDM. You see Lucas Ocampos I got for 40 million plus Brenner. Now, I was originally, uh, going in for Christian Pulisic, but he was just way too expensive. I could not afford him. And Carlos Rodriguez I got from Monterey. I ended up paying, paying the release clause for him because otherwise Monterey would not negotiate with him, but... Let's just go in here real quick. But yeah, Marcelo Arce, he's already grown by one. He's now at a 72. He is showing great potential, but I, so I do want to make sure he gets some, some game time. Um, let's go ahead and check out Weston McKinney. So it's going to take him 16 weeks to reach an 86. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just jump into this game here against LA. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, the team that I replaced in this career mode is Nashville. So you will not be seeing Nashville FC. I do apologize for, you, for any of you that follow that team or support that team in real life, but... I didn't get to see what the weather was like. Clear skies, 2 p.m. So you can see those are home kits. And here's our away kits. Now, these are inspired by the Pittsburgh Penguins inaugural uniforms. Instead of wearing black and gold like they do today, they used to wear black and blue. Well, black and sky blue. And then during the 70s, they wore a darker shade of blue for their uniforms. And then during the late 70s, they changed to black and gold. Which the Boston Bruins tried to take a legal action against them for doing that. Which I think is really stupid considering there's a bunch of teams that wear the same uniforms throughout the, the NHL. But whatever. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and save the home kits for later. But... I'm going to go ahead and uh, put L.A.'s kits on them, which those away kits are really sharp, so I'm going to keep those on them. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just get started here. We'll see what the uh, Rodriguez and Ocampos uh, brings to the team, so I'm just going to go ahead and just jump right in. You see the new guy, Lucas Ocampos? 
like I said, I wanted to bring in Pulisic, but he was, he was just expensive. Plus, Ocampos was in a final year of his contract, so I got a pretty good deal out of him. You see Jacob Jones? I don't know why it's saying a debut to remember. He, he played last year. Yeah, he was our leading goal scorer in all competitions last year. But we are playing at the Dignity Health Sports Park here. Who's going to score the first goal here? Jacob Jones! Beautiful! And I did change his number. He's no longer number 10. You can see he's number 9. I don't know what Cleansman was doing there. He should have done a better job rushing towards Jones, but I'm glad he didn't. Jones was able to get his head on that. And Jacob Jones scores the first goal on camera in this career mode. Where's the McKinney? Brian Ocampo, can you make it too? Yes, you can. Feels like there's something else I wanted to say to you guys, but I can't think what it is at the moment. Still think it's pretty funny I have an Ocampo and an Ocampos. I, I did not mean to do that, but I was looking through final year of contracts for wingers because I wanted to get somebody on the cheap. And I managed to find Ocampos, and he was the one that was the most reasonably priced at such a high rating. And Ocampo gets a brace? Assisted by El Compos. You see Jacob Jones with a nice steal. Let's see him break out the Mbappe celebration. Why not? You can see the uh, new guy, Carlos Rodriguez, the, um, congratulating him. But yeah, this team just feels amazing. Which Ocampos could have got made it 5 0 in the 38th minute, but he missed a penalty. Okay, a message from Daniel Gibbs. Just wanted to say I was really pleased to be involved against LA Galaxy. I'm just hoping I get more chances to play so I can establish myself in the team. You'll get games, don't worry. Your desire is a plus. I'm going to say his desire is a plus. That's probably not the best answer, which it wasn't. Probably should have gone with the second one. You see Weston McKinney rises to the occasion. I can't wait to see these uh, uniforms in action. They look kind of sharp from the uh, the cutscenes in that. See if anybody else screw. I don't think any. I don't think anyone did. You can see Rayner is up to an eighty-one, but I decided to put Ocampo in the starting lineup just because he has more potential than what Rayner does. As we send my head here to the game against Colorado. Now, do I play my first team or do I play my second team? Now, I do want to play my first team against Philadelphia. 
But the game after this against Inter Miami, they're not they're not particularly good. So I don't know if I want to play. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm actually going to sim this game against Colorado. With my first team. Then I'm going to play my second team against Inter Miami. I think that's what I'm going to do. I know this is a little bit of a risk, but... Let's just go ahead. First of all, let's, let's look at the uniforms. I, I, I can't... I want to make sure that I don't forget to do that. Which I didn't realize they wore green and white as their away kits. That's interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and quick sim this. First game of the season. We are the reigning champs. And we get the 4-2 win. Jacob Jones got the brace, uh, Jedi got the goal in the 76th minute, and Ocampo scored in the 84th. So okay, Jacob Jones has already got four goals in his uh, first two games here. Okay, let's see what Rayner has to say. I need to let you know I've been reading some of the stuff that people have been saying lately about me in my future. I just want to ask you to give me another chance to prove I'm the right man in the job. I'll go ahead and say I'll think about it. Which I do like Rainer. That's the reason why I... Oh, I forgot to show you too. I did manage to sell Durant. Okay, he has been sold to Club Bruges, which I, I think I already did show you guys that. Oh, I already did show you guys that. Don't... I don't know why I'm wasting time. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I didn't show you guys that, but... Anyway, I am going to be playing my second team against Inter Miami. I'm just going to go ahead and sub forward. And by the way, I did renew contracts off camera, so I don't have to worry about those until at least July when the transfer window opens. You can see we are in second place in the Eastern Conference. Now we're down the fifth. Uh, FC Cincinnati, they did good last season. Which I'm kind of surprised, but... Anyway, I am going to go ahead and see some of the... Which Rubio has gone up to 78, which is nice. Gibbs is up to 73. Oh, it doesn't look like he's grown anymore. That's a little bit of a problem. And then Lino Rubio. I thought his first name was Luis. I apologize about that. Lino Rubio. Hmm. Let's make him four star, four star for now. But I will be playing this game against Inter Miami. Clear skies. I did name my stadium Three Rivers Stadium, by the way. A little bit of a, a bit of a homage to where the Steelers and the Pirates used to play. But again, the kits. I will be playing my home kits for the first time at home. Into Miami. They do have nice kits. Um, I'll go with the pink. Why not? But anyway, without further ado, our first home game of Season 2. Up against Into Miami with the likes of Higuain, Pizarro, Matuidi, Gonzalez Perez, they got, Figo, Macoon. Got some good names on there, but... Much like on here, in real life, they just haven't made it happen yet. I'm not sure what's going on with it, but, um... Anyway, Ibsen Rossi's up to 71, RSA's up to 72. 
You guys get to see Abeledo here. He was our MVP in the MLS Cup last season. You see Moritz Reiner. I think it is actually supposed to be Reiner. No, I say Reiner, but it's supposed to be Reiner. He, he's, he's Austrian. Just like you don't say Mainz, you go Mainz. You see Three Rivers Stadium. That's pretty cool. Oh, by the way, if I do decide to do a season three on camera, I'm going to change the color scheme back to what it was in season one. But I'm actually kind of liking the black. Oh, look, you see that. But they, uh, Conrad De La Fuente gets the first goal here. I actually kind of like that. But yeah, I'm going to change uh, the color scheme back to how it was in Season 1, which is just a color swap of the, how things are now. Plus, I did add... You know how there's the white stripes? Uh, you know how there's the black stripes and the yellow collar? Well, in Season 1, there was a white collar and white stripes. But as far as this season, I'm gonna keep those. Those are actually nice. They kind of look like they kind of remind me of what the Pittsburgh Steelers look like a little bit too, with the black uniforms and the uh, yellow pants. Yeah, we're just letting them move along here. Ryan, are you supposed to get on side, man? De La Fuente, can you get another goal? Yes, you can. Yeah, they kind of look like the Steelers out there a little bit with the, the yellow shorts and the black backs where you can see the uh, yellow numbering. Uh, Maledo, our MVP with MLS kept last season. Kind of work at Hopper involved here, but so far, this team just feels super good. They really do. I really enjoyed this team off camera in season one, and so far, this team is feeling really good in season two. Hopper with a nice steal. And Matthew Hopper scores his first goal for Pittsburgh United. And you also get to see the uh, the shirts that are, that are made by Adidas, the logo on the shirts, so... But we're gonna go ahead and just jump to the results. And we do get the 4-2 win. Jones and Pizarro get goals back for them. We didn't make any substitutions, which is interesting. Hopper got a yellow card right after scoring. I wonder how he managed to do that, but... Could have been ex excess celebration. I, I, I don't know, but... As Hopper goes up to 72, De La Fuente goes up to an 80... Ocampo goes up to an 81. Let's see. Who else grew? I'm going to check Hoppa's development plan here. He's already grown by two. He's only 21 years of age. He is, I believe, three years older than Jones. i got to find out what Jones' age is. Okay, I'm just going to keep him on there. 
How old is Jacob Jones? He's he's 19, so Hopper is two years older. And Jones with a potential to be special. But I do want to make sure Jones gets plenty of game time. But I'm going to put my first team up against our Earth rivals. And I do have to say, Philadelphia has some of the best away kits on FIFA 22. Just wait till you get to see them. As we are currently in first place, we're tied alongside Columbus and Philadelphia on top of the Eastern Conference. Let me just go ahead and make sure that our starting 11 is up there. And I am going to attend a press conference here. You can see our, our manager, Michaela Tomlin. Been on a great run recently. Teams in a position right now make a serious challenge for MLS title, which we're trying to defend. This is quite big enough for the challenge. Need everyone involved, of course. The players are hungry. Let's see what happens. Oh, that boosted morale. I'm glad I chose that. Everybody at Pittsburgh enjoyed that comfortable two goal win in your last game. Do you get to feel in the Philadelphia Union? We're worried about you right now. Lads are going forward. We're in the mood for sure. Lads are in good enough shape. We're just prepared. We're just going to prepare properly. Teams have been absolutely flying lately. How confident are you the players continue? That's what I expect from us. I think there's more to come. Let's not get to check. And I think there's more to come. And look how much I boosted up the morale. So that ended up being a really good press conference. Okay, guys, we're but anyway, we are going to be going up against Philadelphia here. I am going to keep their home kits on, but wait till you see their away kits. And you tell the air travels too because they're staring at each other. Those home kits are super nice. And <laughs> look at those away kits. Isn't, aren't those beautiful? It can't be just me. Those, those are sharp. I, I love those kits a lot. And, and of course the home kits are super nice as well. I'm not sure which player that is. I, I, that, is that... I think that's Ocampo staring at whoever that is. I don't know who that is. And they're playing a 4-2-2, uh, uh, 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. I'm sorry, it even says on thing. Let's see, you got uh, Hollander, Gazdag, uh, Friendly, Glesnes. Uh, some of the players I recognize. Andre Blake. Seems like he's been there forever. Their, their goalkeeper who's also their captain. But um, let's see if we can get this win here at Three Rivers against Philadelphia. This will be the last game I featured in today's episode. And then after this, I, I promise you guys I'll have the this season go at a, a considerable pace. Because I don't want this Karimo to drag on too much like... Uh, some of my past ones, which I think for the most part in FIFA 22, since I've been doing these career modes on camera, I think I've been pretty good doing a good job keeping up with the pace, making sure these drag these seasons don't drag on too much. But um, you can see Weston McKenney, our highest rated player at an 85 rating. Oh, Lucas Acampos is our second highest rated player. See, to be honest with you, the reason why I switched my uh, color scheme is because I was hoping that would have had the the black lettering with the the yellow in the uh, graphics, but unfortunately, it doesn't really seem to matter because they choose whatever lettering goes with the primary color that I pick. But like I said before, we'll we'll switch colors in our home kit in season three. But to be honest with you, right now I'm liking how the home kits look right now. Jacob Jones, <laughs> you see that header, oh my gosh. I gotta see this. Jacob Jones becoming a, a Pittsburgh's new sports icon. I know I titled that in the last video, but look at the audacity of that header.
Dang. Kayla Tomlin absolutely loving that. Kind of wish I would have showed a closer up a, a thing of that goal. Nice still. Jones not really known for his crossing, but that was a nice one to Rodriguez. Carlos Rodriguez scoring his first goal for the club. And I'm considering changing the away kits next year, too. Going with something different for the away kits. I'm not quite sure what, though. Cannon passing it to McKinney. Where's my winger at? Where's Ocampo at? Jones! How did he score that? And you see our abbreviation is PGH up top, which, again, I do apologize. I would have thought they would have kept the, uh, that should have been called offside, to be honest. And you could argue that Blake could have done a better job there. Jones trying to apply pressure, which he does. Rodriguez gets the brace as he's going to celebrate with Jones. And I think that's all she wrote here, so I'm just going to jump, go ahead and jump to the result. And we got our first clean sheet of the season as uh, De La Fuente comes on for Ocampos. Rubio came on for Eustachio and Gibbs came on for uh, Anthony Jedi Robinson, which if I keep on calling him Jedi, just don't mind me, but that's what uh, us uh, U.S. soccer fans, uh, well, actually he prefers to be nicknamed Jedi, so if I say Jedi instead of Robinson, that's, th that's the story behind that, so... But yeah, Anthony Robinson from here on out will be known as Jedi. You can see the squad report, which I probably should show you guys that. Uh, and we only have three players in there. We have a Mason Gibbs, a left back, 57 rated. Uh, Brian Graham, 55 rated uh, right wing back. And we have a center mid, Patrick Long, the Canadian, 17 years of age. So we have two Canadians and an American in the uh, the Youth Academy yet. Not sure if I want to promote any of them just yet. How big is my squad? Let me just see here real quick. As Jacob Jones has gone up to 75. And you see he's already 5 star, 5 star. So uh, there's no reason for me to train him in that regards. Hmm. It's only going to take him 13 weeks for that. It's still going to improve his finishing, but it's also going to improve his uh, balance reactions and ball control, and also his short passing, so that's going to be a good one for him to focus on. Has anybody else grown? Eustachio is up to an 83. Cannon is up to an 82. A look at Eustachio's plan here. Now, when I bought him last season, he was stuck at his original 76 rating for the longest time. And I thought that I bought a, myself a dud, but he ended up growing by 5 last year to an 81. And it looks like he's going to be continuing to grow. Watch I'll say that, and here he won't. No, he still has room to grow. It's going to take him a little bit, but let's see what... Nothing's going to improve his shooting, unfortunately. Um, what do I want to improve? 
I guess I'll keep his current plan on him. That's not gonna hurt anything. But yeah, we're off to a good start here this season as we're gonna go ahead and just move along here. You can see Weston McKenney rises to the occasion. As we are now in first place in the Eastern Conference alongside the Columbus Clue, which the crew, not clue, crew. You see, At Atlanta and Chicago have yet to earn points. Take a look at the Western Conference. The Vancouver Whitecaps are on top. Portland Timbers, the team that I support in real life, have opened up their two wins and a loss. And Vail Salt Lake have yet to earn a point this season, so... But yeah, we are going to end this episode here. Like I said earlier, I am going to try to accelerate the season if I can. Probably play, I'm going to try to get all of May and possibly all of June in the next video. We only got two games in June. And we got six, well, five games here in May. So, probably play this big away game against Columbus. And then, maybe this game against, um... New York FC. I know I gotta sim a bunch of games as well. I'll probably end up simming these two games against New York Red Bull and Montreal. But I didn't even notice this cup game. I'll be playing the cup game as well. But, um... Yeah, I'll figure out in the next video what games I want to play and what I don't. But uh, a little bit of a, pre a preview of what lies ahead. Hope you guys are looking forward to more of this career mode. I'm having an absolute blast so far. Showing you guys this amazing team so far. Hopefully they continue on with this. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And I'll be seeing you guys again next time.